What are your thoughts on like the controversial Chris Chibnall era? Because I always love talking to people about that. Like, did you did you enjoy it? Uh, I'm not a huge Chris Chibnall fan. I, I don't like his writing. I think it doesn't speak to me. I, I think Jodie's done a fine job with what she's been given. And there's been a lot of episodes I like. Like, I love The Witch Finders. I think it's one of probably one of the best episodes. Yeah, cool. And I, I was rewatching The Halloween Apocalypse um recently and i was like this is just good loads yeah. of fun really yeah fox is really fun and i think i i think there's with every era there's good and bad and i think we're finally getting to the point where you know chris chibnall was now gone and now it's a time we don't have to worry about ratings we don't have to worry is the show being cancelled we can look back and think we like this bit we didn't like that bit yeah. let's move on yeah. we, we have peace with it now we found peace as fans yeah that's so, so I'm true finding parts that i really enjoyed like i really enjoyed fusion of the jadoon i uh, love joe martin i think there's been a lot of good in there but of course there's a lot of bad like in every era totally that's yeah. so true about um it knowing that it's now um like not it getting cancelled and it's got a new showrunner i really do think yeah. I can look back on the era now and think, okay, yeah, like you just said, like, this is why I like, this is why I didn't like. And I think rewatching it, knowing as well, mm. will really help me enjoy it more. Because I was similar to you. I, I didn't I didn't feel that connected to it. But I think I haven't really even given it a chance of a rewatch. Yeah. So when we eventually get yeah. to it, well, we've got two more seasons of, of Capaldi and then we'll, we'll, we'll do it on the show. And I think I haven't even given it a chance of a rewatch. So mm. that would be... I'm interested to see because you've always enjoyed it more than me, but I think I think we might be on the same level. This well, time. yeah, I mean, I don't I don't love it. I, I totally agree with the whole the whole disconnect. Like, I'm not connected to it as yeah. I am with um yeah other eras, but yeah, I don't know. I still uh, find bits that I enjoy weirdly, and this is why I'm like maybe in time the whole era I might feel this way about it. But yeah. series eleven for some reason I've suddenly the last like six months started to feel weird weirdly nostalgic over i don't know there was mm. so much hype being like oh you yeah. know jody's gonna be great which, which yeah she, she's awesome uh and and yeah because we were big fans of Broadchurch, but before who and before he was announced so we were kind of like oh it's kind of similar with russell now we we're like it's in such safe hands it's yeah gonna be we were fantastic. very excited um yeah. and yeah he's done a fine job he's done a he's done a totally fine job he's just yeah not necessarily taking it into crazy would, would you say you're excited for the centenary special this October? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I've decided not to get my hopes up. I think Legend of the Sea Devils really upset me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> silly to say, but I was really excited to see the Sea Devils return. Yeah. And then I was just from the very beginning, I was like, oh no, <laughs> where are all the shots? Yeah. I, it, you just knew there's like 10 minutes of footage missing mm-hmm. and it's just like, was this cut out or did they just not get it in the can? I, I think they didn't get it in the can yeah. because it's just a mess. But I think in 10 years time, I can sit back and laugh with yeah. it and think, yeah. Oh, this was funny. This is silly. And I can enjoy it for what it is. So, but the centenary special 90 minutes, that's Very a cool. bit of breathing time. Mm-hmm. And time. I think maybe it'll work better. Cause I, but it's got the trademark bits I don't like about Chris Chibnall, which is there's a million characters and they're all running around and they're not really doing anything. anything mm. yeah. And I'm really concerned that Tegan and Ace are going to be there, going to shoot a Dalek and then we're just not going to see him ever again. Yes. Yeah. Or they're going to stand in the background like Kate Stewart in Flux and just <laughs> yeah. like twiddle her thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> do you, <laughs> do you, like, do you get really doing? excited when you see like um, someone like Ace and Tegan coming back or do you get like really nervous that their characters are going to like not be written well or done justice to you know, what they were like in the classics. I'm going to enjoy it for what it is, yeah, which is a nice way it. of saying I have no faith. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. It's just silly old Doctor Who.